So for those of you guys that have cameras and have tried to take uh, pictures at night, I tell you what, it is very tough to take a good picture at night. One, two, three, thank you. What's up, Rasa? This is Big Mundo, and I'm back with another video. All right, I'm in my car today. It's been raining all weekend. So no riding today. It looks like the sun wants to pop up, but there's some more clouds coming from the west so we'll see what kind of day it is it's I got 7 45 in the morning I'm getting a little rain right now but uh today's topic is uh long exposures so for those of you guys that have cameras and have tried to take uh pictures at night I tell you what, it is very tough to take a good picture at night. You gotta have everything set up just right. If not, you get a lot of what they call uh, grain in your picture and it, it looks like crap. So last weekend I got out and uh, I got out at night and I wanted to put myself to the test and try to learn how to take uh, night pictures. I know in doing so, it's pretty much gonna be like a long exposure picture. If you want the picture to come out pretty good. I started riding and uh, going into town here. Uh, there's an old pizza pizza joint with some uh, some really nice, a really nice sign. Pretty old school. So I stopped and uh, took a picture of that. That was kind of my first test here, but uh, I'm gonna come up here on it real quick. So here's the sign. Once I set up on it, I took the first picture and I liked it, but I thought I could be better. When I was ready to take the second picture, they actually turned the light off, the sign off, because uh, they were closing up and uh, so I only had one shot at it. But uh, here's a picture, uh, let me know what you think. Let's go check on the river. I also took a picture right here, uh, looking at the bridge. And uh, you guys can see the parking lot now. The river's finally, it looks like it's kind of back and it's, it's kind of back in its banks. But I took a night picture here. I think I stood over here. So that was, uh, that was pretty challenging. So then I wanted to take another picture. I'll show you where I went next.
Wanted to get this sign here at the uh, Adler Theater in downtown Davenport. Um, it's got some pretty good colors. I've never really taken a picture of it at night. So, uh, that was my uh, next pick that I took here. And I'll stop here just to show you guys. So I pretty much stood here on this corner and took some uh, pictures. Still rocking the Nikon D3400 and uh, it's got the kit lenses in it. That's what I used. I did use, uh, I do have a 50 millimeter uh, prime lens for uh, portraits. I did also use that. Um, I have been looking at different cameras. Um, I'm ready to upgrade. I want to upgrade. But cameras and lenses ain't, ain't cheap. So I've used my uh, beginner DSLR and I think I've I think I've outgrown it. Um, so I'm thinking about uh, going to a different camera here pretty soon. But I love I love this hobby. After trial and error, I did uh, manage to take some pretty good pictures. In my opinion, anyways. Um, check out these pictures and uh, let me know what you think of some night photos here in uh, downtown Davenport. This is kind of dangerous and dumb, but uh, I've been holding the camera and try to drive. So I'm gonna let you guys go. Just a little video on some long exposure, night pictures, whatever you want to call it. So thanks for watching. Uh, keep uh, working uh, if you're learning photography. Ugh. So real quick, uh, thanks to all the new subscribers and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this, like I said, this is kind of dumb, so I'm gonna. Turn this camera off and uh, <laughs> drive. Big Mundo out.